Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from me. I'm doing this one a bit on the fly because everything's just gone completely upside down. <laughs> um, the UK has just gone into lockdown um, as of last night and I think everyone's just a bit like uh, um, because as usual we haven't had much notice. Um, I wasn't going to do a video this week because I originally was supposed to have my exams this week uh, for my sports massage therapy course, uh, but I suspect that's most likely cancelled now. So I'm thinking I may as well get on with some normal person stuff and uh, stop cramming and revising like a nutcase. Um, so yeah, this is all like a bit on the fly. So please forgive me if there's anything weird about this video or like I just, I don't know, look like a stressed out kind of, I don't know, bird's nest head. <laughs> Not really sure what I'm getting at with that. Anyway, um, so the lovely Jerry from Planting Memories has tagged me in, uh, uh, why can't I remember it? The Plants Check 2020, I think it's called. I'm gonna have to double check this now because as I said, I am on the fly and completely not on planet Earth in my brain. All I'm thinking about is muscles, really, <laughs> and not in a creepy way. Anyway, um, so he's uh, tagged me in this fun tag. It is kind of like a review of 2020, uh, which I reckon is just about in time as we are now in 2021. Today is the 5th and um, yeah, I think it's a good time to do it. I think if I left it longer then I just might ramble more. <laughs> so, okay, I really need to shut up. If you can't tell, my head is not in the game today. It's just not there. Anyway, so I do want to do this though because I want to keep up my every Tuesday upload thing um, as much as possible. And now I don't have a reason not to, so I'm going to do it. And I hope that it figures out okay. But please forgive me if not. I've got a much more exciting video coming next week. It's a plant shopping with me from pre tier four, pre lockdown, etc. Um, so I've been hanging on to that for a little while and I think you'll really enjoy it because it's a beautiful nursery. Anyway, so <laughs> there are 10 questions in this tag. I think Jerry added the last question um, just to make it an even 10. I think there were nine originally. Um, so, and I appreciate that because I, love an even number um unless it's seven or 21 but anyway i really need to stop rambling um <laughs> okay so the first question is what was your first plant bought in 2020 and i have no record of what my first plant was so i've gone back to a video from around about that time um where i went shopping in stewart's and i bought this gorgeous aglianema um it's actually really lucky that I'm doing this tag because if you can't tell, it's wilting slightly and someone has forgotten to water it. Uh, that someone is myself. <laughs> um, so it's wilting slightly. I've just given it a load of water, so hopefully it will pick back up. But this beautiful pink aglianema, which isn't usually in this pot, I just don't want it dripping everywhere, is, uh, yeah beautiful and it's just grown and grown I've taken propagations all sorts um, ever since I got it last year and that was I think on the oh, I think it was about the 5th or 6th of January or something like that it wasn't long into January so I can't imagine I've bought many plants before that but you never know um, so I'm gonna say it's this one um, and I will link uh, the video above uh, for that plant haul that I did where I got that lovely aglianema a uh, plant I shouldn't have got in 2020, but bought anyway. Okay, this one is behind you. Um, this one is the Hoya Callistophylla. You may recognize this from my favorite plants of 2020. And this stunning specimen, I definitely shouldn't have bought because he was expensive. He was around the 75 pounds mark. I'm trying not to say it too loud because Craig's still upstairs. <laughs> um, he's probably listening, but yeah, so this was about £75. I actually won it by accident on eBay. I just, my impulse control did not work out for the best on this occasion because I was just like ogling it and I was like, oh, I'll just put in um, a high bid because I didn't think that I would get it and then um, nobody else bid on it. 
and I was like ah uh oh um but I didn't really have any strong regrets because I wanted this plant for a long long time it's super beautiful and this one's full with loads of leaves so I was actually quite quite happy with this plant so yeah I bought it anyway and it is beautiful um so you know nothing too bad has come of that um okay I'm just trying to find places for this to go oh also i am currently um kind of remodeling my begonia area in this room um so that's what's going on behind me um and they are on the struggle bus so i've got grow lights on them so yeah that's what's happening um the next question was uh plant i res plant i rescued in 2020 this probably most appropriate I've have rescued a few plants but I can't remember them off the top of my head but this one I was looking at this morning so that works out quite well um it is this beautiful um Ludicia gold it's called um it's a cultivar which has yellow flowers I haven't cut off the flower spike yet um but basically this whole thing was um rotting and it was on discount um, at Stewart's, my local garden centre, but it had stem rot and probably root rot. I didn't even bother to inspect the roots. Um, so I just propagated them and um, cut like the rotted parts away and they seem to be doing fine. Um, I've got another little one that is still in propagation, growing some roots, but this one looks really good at the moment. Um, so I'm super happy with that. Um, I do like a good plant rescue because I feel like you can learn a lot from the plant rescues and uh, you get lovely cheap plants uh, for not very much money. I mean that was said when I said it was cheap. Hmm. <laughs> I yeah I'm gonna move on. Um, <laughs> Right, plant I successfully propagated in 2020. I feel like I really mastered begonia propagation this year because it's something, I mean, begonias in general, I feel like I got to grips with this year. Um, obviously not entirely perfectly, <laughs> um, but I feel like I know them a lot better than I did before. And um, yeah, so I actually, managed to successfully propagate a lot of begonias this year which I was really chuffed about. I've brought a couple along to this video um, to show you. So this is the Begonia Bowery uh, Tiger Paws cultivar. Uh, he's growing really well. I've also got the Begonia Mary Reed um, growing as a little propagation here. He's so cute. I love him. Look at that. So cute. Um, and he's doing really well as well touch wood <laughs> um, and this is the begonia maculata tamaya um, which is usually kind of grows in a cane formation uh, but he's quite small at the moment so uh, but he's got a really cute little leaf coming up here uh, I don't know if you can see that so yeah he's doing well um, then we have got <laughs> plant I killed in 2020. Well, if you haven't already seen the plants I've killed slash my plant murder confession video, um, I will link it above there. I never remember. I've really got to remember. I think it's there. I, I will link that above um, and you can go and check that out. But just as a teaser, my... <laughs> My most recent plant that I have killed is sadly my little begonia black fang, uh, which I really loved. It was again a Dibley's casualty um, and sadly most of my plants from Dibley's have kind of bitten the dust. It's really, it sucks. Um, but there we go. Um, I know I'm not alone in that because there's quite a few plant groups on Facebook that talk about Dibley's and the issues uh, with their plugs. So yeah, I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, make sure you check out the video if you want some reassurance about plant death and how common it is, even when you know what you're doing with your plants, um, just go ahead and watch that video because um, I think I find it reassuring when other people do videos like that, that I'm not the only one that does it as well. <laughs> um, right, number six is plant I grew from seed in 2020. I actually haven't grown anything from seed this week, this year. Well, that's, that's a lie. Um, I did grow some wildflowers outside um, in our garden border, um, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> I think there's a cornflower in there. I think there is, 
I honestly don't know, to tell you the truth. There's just a handful of little wildflowers. They're not doing too well at the moment because it's middle of winter, um, but they seem to do pretty well um, as the warmer weather was around. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to them in the spring. Um, and maybe I'll do a little update on here when I figure out what on earth they are, because I it's hard to tell at the moment, basically. They're just green and they have leaves and I'm not sure what they are. I'm not great with my outdoor plants. Um, right, number seven, my most underrated plant in 2020. I am going to go for a genus um, or genus, however you say it, um, for this one because I feel like begonias um, deserve more love. They do. Um, I know that they're getting a little bit more popular lately, um, but they, I feel like they're not there yet. They're not like top the pedestal. They need to be top in my opinion, because they are just like such a beautiful plant and I love them. I can't get enough of them. I don't feel like people love them enough. I feel like people are intimidated by them because they are fussy, um, but it's, worth it basically is all I can say um so yeah I would say a hundred percent most underrated plants um are the begonias also if you're interested in underrated plants make sure you check out uh my shared account with uh, my friend Adam at Earth Champion on Instagram we have an account called at my underrated plants and if you use the hashtag my underrated plants uh, then we will repost your underrated plant picture um, on our account and yeah hopefully everyone likes doing that because i think people um do <laughs> um god i'm really not good at selling things am i <laughs> um okay number eight my most challenging plant in 2020 hands down is the philodendron melanocrysum i'm genuinely actually nervous about having this out um, because he lives currently in a propagation box and that seems to be the only way I can get anything out of this um, out of this little cutting. Um, I originally bought this from the lovely Lois at Twisted Leaf and Vine um, and I think my unboxing is somewhere on this uh, channel as well. I'll see if I can link it um, if I haven't already linked too many videos on here um, but I don't know it was growing really really well and then for some reason, when I moved flat, um, it just dropped all its leaves and it just went completely unhappy. And I'm really, really hopeful that this, like it's got quite a few new leaves now. I'm really hopeful this is the beginning of it getting better. Um, but yeah, he's permanently in a propagation box where it's nice and humid and warm and got, gets plenty of light as well. So yeah, hands down this bad boy and also, this is such a like a wish list plant for me that I stress like I full blown stress about this little thing so I need to keep it away from my stress <laughs> so it can't tell that I don't want it to die <laughs> um number nine my most valuable plant in 2020 um this isn't the plant I spent the most amount of money on, but it is the plant that has kind of escalated in price and value um, over the last year. I did buy it in 2020 um, and it is my Monstera Thai constellation. I will insert a picture because he is like, you can probably see him just over there, just the corner of his leaf there, but he's a bit big to pick up. Um, but when I bought him, he was £69 in a local garden centre. And now they are worth, at the size that I bought him, they're worth about 125 maybe even more um, is the going rate currently post kind of pandemic. Um, so right now, that's my most valuable plant. Uh, would I pay 125 or more for him? No. <laughs> um, I have never spent more than £100 never spent more than 90 pounds on a plant and I just it makes me so nervous to do so um even that much money is a lot I don't do it often at all um but most valuable to me hmm I, yeah I suppose there's two meanings to this aren't there like there's one most valuable in terms of monetary value my most valuable plant for me I think, oh, I don't know. 
that's a really tough one okay i think i bought a begonia aldermore it might just be because it was so recent um that i got this one it's like my new baby um i bought a beautiful begonia aldermore um from uh blah, 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 what's it called Bur burford garden center and it is gorgeous um so i will put in a picture of that as well um so that uh, you can see that again it's a little bit big to fit in the frame um but yeah i really love that plant it's gorgeous and fuzzy and it's got lovely red undersides and it's just i've been wanting that plant for so long and i finally got it so at the moment that's probably my most valuable to me plant um, and finally top wishlist plants for 2021 again I've done a video for this already that was my last video so if you want to check that out please do so I'll try and leave a link above if I have run out of links that I can leave then I'll put it in the description um, but just a teaser one of my favorites uh, wishlist plants for 2020 is the begonia chloristicta um, it is just beautiful I just I just can't like I desperately want that plant <laughs> so fingers crossed for 2021 um, we got to have something to look forward to anyway haven't we so um, I think the lights changed slightly I've been again experimenting with light in these videos it's not going great um, but I didn't put up my uh, what's it called I don't know what's called the big light that you use for filming things I don't know what it's called <laughs> as you can tell i am not with it today i'm just like blindsided by the whole situation i'm completely confused and my brain is not together so um, <laughs> yeah i'm sorry <laughs> um so I just want to say that was the end of the tag and uh, thank you so much to Jerry for tagging me as always you are a wonderful plant tuber to know um, I will tag a couple of people um, I would love to see this tag by um, Kathy's projects uh, in Melbourne uh, she has a great channel if you haven't checked it out already uh, then you will definitely enjoy it she is wonderful and such a lovely soul and secondly uh firefly in the room Svetlana in Lithuania uh, I would love to see both of you do this tag no pressure though if you don't feel like doing it I realize it's after 2020 has ended <laughs> so um but yeah I would love to see that from both of you and thank you everyone so much for watching I will be back like a normal human being next week i will i will i promise um and i plan to do this uh plant shopping with me because yeah it's it's a it's a really good one <laughs> so stick with me until next week uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again next time bye guys <laughs>